Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 57 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. So this right now, I'm just going to tell you straight away that this is going to be a long video. Right now I'm editing this and I'm editing the pickups part. I already did the recap, so the recap will be like 15 to 20 minutes. But the pickups is 10 minutes by itself. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and without further ado, let's get started. So... I went with the old man and he pretty much just had a comic book and a Pokemon book. The comic book was 50 cents and the Pokemon book was a dollar so I decided to pick them both up. Also there's a lady over here that throws everything on the floor. There's a lot of people that do that at the flea market so sometimes you might get confused as to what person I'm with. But uh, this is a lady that also throws things on the floor and I picked up that little solitaire game for 50 cents and I picked up this watch for $3. She said the watches are two for five or one for three and as you guys saw there was a lot of people around the table so I didn't really want to check because there was just so much people so I just got that one clock. So this is the lady that throws everything on the floor you know I get the good bundle deal and everything. So the bundle deal here here was eight dollars and I did get some other stuff that I will not be showing in the video but just know that I got other stuff besides what I got so I picked up a couple things that I probably shouldn't have picked up and I picked up like comic books I picked up the book guide to the Mario game and the 3D puzzle so yeah I picked up a lot of stuff and all that was eight dollars and then with this guy I don't know if you guys remember but this guy had well I think you can remember him he had I picked up a Pac-Man plug and play from him before and one time I went late and he was giving everything for for a dollar I don't know if you remember but this time he was giving all the movies, DVDs, and games for a dollar a piece. So I just started grabbing a bunch. I got a bunch of games from this guy. The Monopoly and the Guitar Hero game, I'm going to trade in at GameStop because they trade in for, okay, I mean, y you get something back. So I'm going to trade those in and the rest I'll keep. But... I thought that was a great deal. I wasn't going to pick this SOCOM game up because it wasn't in there. But I thought for the case for a dollar, why not just pick it up? Also, I picked up this uh, Grand Theft Auto case. So you guys saw when I picked up the Captain America movie, right? I have not seen any of those. And I don't know why, but I like Captain America. I feel like he's my favorite out of all the Avengers. And it's kind of sad to hear that Chris Evans won't be playing him anymore. I don't know what's going to happen. Like in the new Avengers movie, is he not going to come back? That's why he's not going to make the movies. Or are they going to keep making the movies and he's just not going to play? But I have not watched any superhero movie. I watched um, Iron Man 1 and 2. Pretty much that's it. I have not watched the Deadpool movies yet. I did recently just watch the Tomb Raider movie. And I liked it. It was good. It was nice to see when she got her arrows. And it's nice to see when she got her axe. You know, as a gamer, I liked the movie. But to be honest, I liked Ready Player One more than Tomb Raider. So, um, yeah, and like I said, I haven't watched the original Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie, but I did like this one. So, this was the lady that gives me good deals. I'm fast forwarding through some of these. I pretty much just picked up what I probably wouldn't have for a dollar. And I wanted to pick up this Torak game. I've fallen for that, looking through that case like three times already. I know it's not in there, or I don't know because I forget because I keep looking in there. But yeah, I also picked up this Star Wars game. Like I said, 50 cents a piece. And the games that I left behind are pretty much scratched. So I don't know if they will play or they won't play. I would have picked this one up, but it was pretty badly scratched as well. I picked up an empty Black Ops case for the PS3, and she pretty much just threw that in there. Everything was $2, like I said, 50 cents each, so she just threw in the case. I picked up this game too. I don't really know why I picked it up. I'm not going to be playing it, but uh, you'll see in the recap the conditions of these games. I was going to pick up the Max Payne game, but I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I have have Max Payne 2 on the original Xbox and I have Max Payne 1 on the PS2. 
I picked up this only on PlayStation game. It was pretty scratched, but since it's only on PlayStation, I decided to pick it up for 50 cents. And that's pretty much all I picked up with the lady that gives me good deals. So as you guys can see here, the prices are a dollar a piece. If you guys remember last week when I recorded with my phone, I pretty much picked up what I didn't pick up before. Killzone wasn't there, so somebody must have got that. But the only game that I left behind here was Tetris uh evolution or something i don't know it was for the ps2 i do have grand theft auto for the ps2 and i i mean grand theft auto. i do have san andreas and vice city for the ps2 but i've had those copies since i was a kid so i used to run those through a skip doctor and i know that's pretty bad but i was a kid and i didn't really know back then so the rings are pretty cracked so it I just bought those to pretty much replace the ones that I have. And the Vice City didn't have a map, so that was a bummer. But the San Andreas one did. My San Andreas map has seen better days, so I'm happy that I found the map for that. Also picked up True Crime, and I picked up Enter the Matrix like you guys saw. So here the games were a dollar a piece as well. And I saw this game, I was going to pick it up. But when I saw the case, which I saw it and I'm like, it's not in there, right? And it wasn't in there. So I got it and I pulled out the case that was, or the game that was in this case. And I don't know if you guys can see in the reflection of the disc, but there was a guy standing next to me, which I didn't notice when I was looking at the games. And I guess he thought I was like messing around with the games like i was putting games where they didn't go i don't know but he ended up pulling out the box i don't know if he could see me better and he could watch his games or something but yeah he ended up pulling it out and i pretty much just picked up i believe three games from here and the two empty cases he charged them for 50 cents all right guys so while i'm looking at these games i just want to let you know that i did go to the flea market on sunday and i only found two games sadly so i don't know if there will be a flea market episode next week i don't know i know i said that last week but good thing that i did go because now you guys get a video so yeah next week i don't know if there will or there won't be also i did see the t-shirt guy i don't know if you guys have noticed that he hasn't been in the videos because he hasn't gone for like two weeks now and he hasn't really had new stuff since last year i'd say he's kind of been slacking he hasn't had a lot of new inventory he used to have a lot of new inventory uh like last year he used to get inventory in a lot and now he's just kind of not been doing so well so yeah, you'll see me pick up. I picked up one shirt. I picked up three to get the three for 12 price. I didn't just want to get one for $5. So here I'm just showing you a couple shirts that I, I, I could say I'd liked, but uh, not, they were not in my size. This was the only one in my size. If you guys know, I did dress up like that. If you guys haven't seen the video, then you should check it out. I believe I did show you this shirt in a past episode, but I'm not really sure. Also, this was on Sunday. I found these Funkos. I really wanted the Reptar Pop, but on eBay, buy it now. He's like 7 plus 3 shipping, so I just decided I'll buy it on there instead. I didn't even ask the guy how much these were. He had a flocked Crash Bandicoot. I kind of wanted him, but not really, because you could just probably pick him up at GameStop. So, these were the only two games that I picked up. I was going to pick up this LEGO Star Wars game. You remember when I told you it was 6 trade in at GameStop? Well, now they put it down to $4. I don't know when they did that. I think I traded in like two weeks ago or a week ago. So, yeah, if I hadn't traded it in, I wouldn't have got the $6 that I was hoping for. But good thing that I did leave it. So I ended up finding this Alice Madness Returns. And guess how much it was, guys? The magic number today is $1. And yeah, I picked it up for a dollar. Sonic Generations, I did not notice that when I was looking through the discs. So I'm kind of bummed at myself. Like, I did not notice it when I was looking through it. I did see Sonic uh, 
Sonic the Hedgehog the for the PS3, but I didn't see the Sonic Generations game. So I just picked up Sonic the Hedgehog and I picked up Alice Madness Returns for a dollar a piece. Still, I'm pretty bummed that I didn't see that Sonic Generations game, but I picked up these two for a dollar a piece. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I want to show you guys the pickups. Now, I don't know if I'm going to show you them in the order that they were in the video because I'm recording the recap right now and then tomorrow I'm going to record the beginning part of the video. Uh, so I picked these up for... This was 50 cents with the old man. Remember the old man that I used to dig in boxes and boxes of uh, games and movies and CDs? Well, he doesn't really get that stuff anymore. I think since last year, he didn't really uh, do that. Like when I came back from my apartment being renovated to the flea market, he said he didn't do that anymore because the lady that he got the stuff that he used to with doesn't do that anymore. So yeah, but I did pick up this and this was 50 cents. Uh, I don't really know why I keep picking up comic books. I don't really have a need for them, but I couldn't really just leave that there. And I also picked up this, which, sorry if the camera shook a bit, but this is really thick and heavy. Uh, this was a dollar he wanted it. I thought, why not pick it up? Because I don't know any of the new Pokemon nowadays. You know, I know the originals, the ones I grew up with. Like, uh, I know this one right here. Um... And, of course, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, uh, Snorlax, of course. Uh, yeah, so I just picked this up. Tokopi, I remember Tokopi too. Uh, I remember the originals, but I don't remember, or I don't know any of the new ones. So I thought, why not pick this up so I can learn more about them and I can, you know, try to figure out their names. Even though there's a whole bunch. It says there's over 700 Pokemon in this book. So, um... We'll see if I remember maybe half. I'm not sure. Uh, so that was a dollar. I thought that was a pretty good price. And uh, next to the guy in front of the guy, the old man that gives me those deals. Um, I went with a lady that also throws things on the floor. But this is not the other lady that, you know, bundles everything up. Uh, she was giving, I found this watch and it doesn't have battery. As you can see there. I need to get battery for this or actually it does tell the time but you can't really see it yeah maybe it, it might need a new uh, battery so I was I have to look for the battery for this but I thought why not pick it up she said two for five or one for three and this is the only thing I found there was like eight people around that small little table I don't know if you saw when I picked this up but yeah I picked this up. This is the only thing I picked up. And I thought, you know, I went before I made the... No, I think it was after I made the uh, Halloween video uh, last week. So I thought, why not pick that up? Because it looks pretty cool. And I know I said I didn't like um, watches like that. But that one looks pretty cool. I kind of wish it had something right here on the faceplate. But it doesn't, so... All right, and next with that lady, so that one was $3, and this one was $0.50. Cents. And since I wasn't really finding much at the beginning, I thought I might as well just pick this up. So this was $0.50. Cents. Um, probably going to just sell it or something. And it came with its own little box, as you could see. Solitaire, there we go. So that was $0.50, cents and the watch was 3 bucks. All right, so the next things I picked up was with the lady that throws everything on the floor and she gives you a bundle deal. So I want to show you guys what I picked up. This was all $8 plus some other household items that I'm not going to show you guys. But I picked this. Let's just start off with the Rick and Morty puzzle. That's what it looks like when you complete it. Um, I picked it up because it's sealed and I don't know if I might do it or not. Um, I might just sell this or trade it I don't know yet but I picked that up I also picked this up I really like doing like 3d puzzles and stuff uh, as you guys saw I did do the I don't know if you could see over here I did those little puzzles that you had to build I also did this 
3D Mickey puzzle, this one right here. Um, so I kind of want to do this. I also saw a Star Wars one at the flea market one time, also at GameStop, but I'm not going to pick it up at GameStop. Uh, so I thought, why not pick this up and build it and let's see how it turns out. I kind of want to do like a little series where I start like building stuff on video for you guys, but I don't know if you guys would want to see that or not. I don't know. Let me know because I like building stuff. All right, so I also picked this up, which it was just thrown on the floor. I really don't know why I picked it up. I don't need it. Um, I don't have this game. I think it's for, what is it, DS or 3DS? Well, I don't have this game, uh, but I still decided to pick it up, and there is some more. So this is a thick book, so <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it's thicker than the Pokemon one, but they're kind of, you know... Uh, so I picked this up also for trade if anybody wants it I really I don't know why I picked it up, but I could not leave it there All right, and the last two things that I picked up was two more comic books like I need any more uh, The guy charged me a dollar a piece and I probably should have left these but I I just I took them all right. So uh, yeah up for trades if you guys want to trade uh, so let's move on to the next items. All right, guys. So the next items that I picked up were, I don't know if you guys remember a guy that used to throw things on the floor as well. I know there's a lot of people that do that at the flea market, but I picked up like a Pac-Man plug and play uh, cassette player one time. He also had some games on the floor, which I picked up. I think they were like 50 cents a piece. Uh, I went late that day, so he was giving him for 50 cents a piece. Anyways, I ended up picking up a lot of stuff from that guy. I found this, but it wasn't in there. It was actually a movie for Family Guy. And I thought for a dollar, why not just pick this up and have this case? Even though I think I already have that, but oh well. You can't have enough uh, PSP cases. So the next pickup was this. Like I said, I'm very behind on the superhero movies. All right, so yeah, I picked this up. I haven't watched it, so I cannot wait to watch it. I don't know if there's any codes in here for you guys, but I, f I saw this and I thought it was really cute. I, I think they're like, oh, they're plushies. They kind of look like pop figures to me. So yeah, I picked this up for a dollar. Also, I picked up this one because I saw the first one, but I haven't seen the second one. And this seems to be like a uh, library movie, which that kind of sucks for the library, for the person who did not return this. But yeah, I picked this up for a dollar as well. And I picked up this Star Wars Force Awakens game as well. Up for trades, I guess, if you guys want it. Uh, it does have a little bit of scratches here and there. I'm stumbling on my words. So I picked this up as well. It says Sonic X on it. And to be honest, I haven't really seen the Sonic cartoons. I have picked up a couple cartoons in the past at the flea market, if you guys remember. But I have not watched any of them. Not even the Mario ones. I don't even know why I picked those up, to be honest with you. But for a dollar, I mean, I couldn't leave it there. It's pretty much flawless. Uh, so next I picked up this for a dollar. I know why would I pick this up for a dollar? I don't even know if it's a dollar at GameStop anymore, but I picked it up also because well This is an actual ps3 case. So why not just pick that up for a dollar? I also picked this up thinking that I could trade it. I think it trades in for like five dollars So I'll get like four dollars back for this Monopoly game for the ps3 uh, also picked up this game, Minority Report, Everybody Runs. And it had a price tag, I don't know if you could see that, a price tag of 99 cents. But if you're a pro member, you get it for 89 cents. Which I remember when they started uh, to get rid of all the PS2 games. Also when they started to get rid of all the GameCube games. It's kind of sad to see them get rid of those, but you know, you got to make room for the new consoles that are coming out. So uh, I found this, but it wasn't in there. And I don't know if I should have picked this up even if it was in there, but I, I picked it up for the case. And because the um, map I think is better than the one that I have, but I'm not really sure. 
but I do have the mat for that. I also picked up this because I believe it trades in for six and I got it for one. So there's five dollars in credit for that. There's a couple scratches, but for a dollar, I mean, you can't beat that, right? So yeah, it trades in for six. So that's why I picked that up for a dollar. And I also picked up this empty case. I maybe paid 50 cents for each or I don't know if he threw them in. I think he threw them in to be honest. So I picked this up for the case. Now let's move on to the next set of games. All right, so the next pickups were $2 for everything and they were 50 cents a piece. So with the lady that gives me good deals, I picked up this empty case for a PS3 game. I thought, why not? Even though I don't really need to be picking up cases when I, obviously I don't really have that much room in here anymore. So I kind of want to get rid of some things. Also want to get bigger cubes for this room, but I'm going to try and save up to buy those so I can have more room in here. Uh, but I picked this up next. And like I said, it was $2 for everything. Uh, so I picked that up. Oh, let me show you the condition. I'm sorry. So the condition, it is pretty scratched, but I thought since it was a only on PlayStation game, I should pick it up. I don't know why, but I like to pick up only on console stuff. So I picked this up as well, Brothers in Arms. It is a little scratched, I do believe. Uh, yeah. Alright, so the next game that I picked up is something that one of you guys said why I didn't pick up. And I'll pretty much show you why, but I thought for 50 cents, why not pick it up? And I'm not sure if it'll work, but Xbox Originals like PS2s, I believe, are tanks. Because believe me, I still have PS2 games that I've had since I was a kid. And they're really scratched, but it still plays either way, so I believe it'll play. Uh, but I don't have my Xbox original plugged in, so I don't believe I'll be playing that anytime soon. So this I also picked up for 50 cents, and it really has a lot of scratches down here, as you guys can see. Like they, I don't know what they did, it looks like they scrubbed it with something. But for 50 cents, I thought, why not pick it up? I don't know if it trades for much. Probably not at GameStop. So that was everything that I picked up with the lady that gives me good deals. All right, so the next games I pretty much picked up from the last week that you guys saw me pick up those dollar games. I told you I should have picked up True Crime and Vice City and San Andreas. Well, I picked up Enter the Matrix. This was a dollar. And there we go. It was in pretty good condition. So I decided why not pick it up. So I picked that up. Let me just put this on the side. And I also picked up True Crime Streets of LA. I remember this game and I liked it. It was fun. It was not Grand Theft Auto, but it was pretty fun. Um, I liked a song from here. I'm not sure what song it was called, but I would stay in the car until the song came on. Uh, and then I would run out because I wanted to hear that song, but yeah, so true crime streets of LA uh, I do remember playing that when I was a kid Also remember playing this when I was a kid is Vice City Stories and what was in here was actually a paper that says It's not even for this game. It says hitman 2 level skip I did not know that you could do that with a cheat code level skip in that game but I have played Hitman as well. And this is in better condition than the original that I have. It is really scratched. It has seen better days. I believe this one's missing the, the map. Not the manual, but the map. If it did come with one, but I don't remember. I believe it does. Um, and I also picked up, like I said, I picked up Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It does have the map, which mine is, you guys should see mine. Mine's all crimpled and stuff, and it has, like, holes because I used to hang it up. Not in this room, but in an old room that I used to have when I was a kid. And, uh, yeah, so it has seen better days, the map. 
Uh, also, the disc has seen better days. I used to use the disc, the skip doctor a lot and the rings from all of, mostly all of my games, the ones that I used to play a lot like Dragon Ball Z, all the Dragon Ball Z games, all the Grand Theft Auto games. This is cracking really bad. And I'm pretty sure it's from the Skip Doctor because I did used to use that a lot. I know, I know. I I shouldn't have done that, but I was a kid back then. And I thought, well, it gets rid of scratches, so might as well just do it. But anyways, uh, let's move on to the next set of games. So I picked up uh, Spiral Year of the Dragon, which I gotta check on the side because it has no... Uh, manual but I believe a subscriber sent me this game it was a spiral game um, so I'm gonna put it in here and it'll be an almost complete game I just need the manual for it and I also picked this game up I know it was in the thumbnail I thought well might as well just put it in there but yeah if only it was in there guys if only it was in there and that is the spiral game when I saw it I kind of like gasped inside of uh, my head I was like no way it's in there I said that in my head and I was right it's it wasn't in there but I got the case for it and this game goes for like 30 bucks surprisingly on eBay so I also ended up picking up this game I thought it was interesting and I, it's kind of like an anime game kind of like the uh, Dragon Ball Z games right so I picked this up and it is a little scratched from what I can see, but for a dollar a piece, like I said, you can't beat that. So the next game I picked up, which I think I already have, I did pick it up in a video, I believe it was before I went to the fair, so that was a while ago. I picked this up for a dollar and I picked it up again for a dollar since it was a dollar uh, let me know what games I left behind that I should have picked up, but that guy is pretty cool He always has games sometimes. I believe he has kids. That's why he always has games that he has to sell and stuff, but Why not leave the spiral games in there? What the heck? Okay, so I picked that up and I picked up this Tomb Raider game uh, So yeah Tomb Raider and I believe this had minimal scratches. It is so hard to get these games out with the Okay, so uh, there we go. A uh, couple scratches here and there. All right, guys. So the t-shirt guy was there. He hasn't been there for like two weeks. That's why you haven't really seen him in an episode. Um, so if you guys were wondering. But the shirt that I picked up this week with that guy. I did end up getting three shirts. So it could be $12. Uh, but I picked this shirt up. And I thought I should have picked it up. I picked it up before the video came out. So it was on Wednesday before the video came out the video came out on friday so i thought why not just pick this up and put it on for a video which i think you guys might see in the video sometimes i don't really like this camera because you can't see my uh shirts all the way but it is a small and it's from five nights at freddy's so yeah i picked this up so guys the last two things that i picked up were on sunday i thought i was going to find more i didn't go with the expectation of really finding anything but i didn't find anything anyways just two games i also saw a bunch of those pops that the guy had but i didn't even ask how much he wanted i looked up the reptar doll on ebay buy it now and it was like seven dollars plus three something shipping so that's pretty cheap i think i might just get it on there and i also saw the crash pop the flocked one and i really wanted that but mm. I'll just get a regular at GameStop. So I picked up these two games, the Sonic the Hedgehog game, which I did already clean, but it does seem to have a lot of scratches. And when I looked at it outside in the sun, it didn't seem to have all these scratches on it. Also, I saw that I passed a Sonic Generations game when I was looking through the discs. So... Yeah, that kind of hurt a little that I didn't see that when I was looking at the discs. And the next and last game, I thought it was a good deal for a dollar. Good thing I looked in those loose discs. Alice Madness Returns. Sorry, I'm trying to read it backwards. Uh, for the PS3, I did already clean it, but it does have a couple scratches uh, that don't come off on it. So I picked that up for a dollar. I thought that was a really good deal. 
like I said, so that was everything that I picked up. I know this video is probably going to be like super long. Uh, already recording this recap, it's at 29, but you know, I've made mistakes here and there. So uh, probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes in the recap, just alone by itself. So yeah, that was everything I picked up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the video being so long, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know you guys like the videos being a little longer than usual than the shorter videos. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, the links will be down below in the description. Happy hunting. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video.